All right, it's that time again, Sunday night. Welcome to SND, I am JR. And I'm Aya. And you're AR. Today we are downtown Victoria on the corner of Yates and Vancouver. And we're at Moxie's restaurant. Now, I haven't been to Moxie's for a while, but Moxie's did start in 1986 in Calgary. It actually started as a deli under a different name called Muncie's. Uh, that only lasted for two months because people started calling it Munchies. So they changed the name to Moxie, which is Yiddish for lots of energy, kind of like me. <laughs> um, so I remember Moxie's being a family restaurant. There was a town and country mall, which is now uptown, and they had sort of a long strip restaurant there. And they pretty much had booths and basically basic foods. It was in the early 2000s, I believe, they switched to being like a premium casual place. Uh, they moved downtown and inside it's actually quite nice it's, it's quite fancy maybe a little too fancy for me i don't know <laughs> i think most places are too fancy for me <laughs> but today we're here to check out the uh the burger and rude a car was putting out a lot of smoke um anyways so we're here to check out the burger now they used to have a burger back in the days that I remember where they actually had a stuffed burger. So the cheese and the bacon was actually stuffed inside the patty and then oh cooked. My gosh. I don't think they have that anymore. So we're just going to do the basic cheeseburger, add bacon to it, and that way we can judge it fairly across everything else. I don't know um, what else we're going to get. I think we might get a nappy, but you'll see, of course. We'll do the voiceover, we'll come out, and then we'll give you the overview of what we thought about it. Nom, so nom, let's, nom. Uh, let's go. Let's, uh, and you can talk about fries because you're the fry expert. Yum, yum. So let's go in and let's check it out. Yep. Here are the dry garlic ribs and here is the smashed guacamole with pico and tortilla chips. Now this here is the Moxie's cheeseburger. It's aged white cheddar, red relish, pickled mustard seed mayo, and you can add bacon for an extra $2. So that brings the burger up to about $21. It comes on a potato bun. Um, everything about this burger was actually quite delicious. The red relish, for some reason, really adds a little extra something for me. We also got the truffle Parmesan fries on the side. Pretty much everyone at the table did. As you can see, the meat is cooked really well. It actually works really quite nicely, everything together. Here's a close-up of the truffle parmesan fries. This is the lettuce-wrapped Moxie's cheeseburger. Pretty much the same burger, just in a lettuce wrap for those people that are keto conscious or low carb conscious. And on the other side of the table is the buffalo chicken burger, again with a side of parmesan truffle fries. All right, we've just come out of Moxie's and you saw the food that we had. I had the bacon cheeseburger with the parmesan truffle fries. We also had the uh, dry ribs, which I thought were not too bad. What do you think of the dry ribs? Oh, they were fine. Dry ribs aren't my favorite. So. smashed avocado the, or something? The smashed guacamole with uh, some tortilla chips and pico de gallo. And I wasn't a big fan of that. I liked it. I didn't really like the tortilla chips. That's I, fair. I thought they were stale. Um, but you had the lettuce wrap burger? I had the lettuce wrap burger also with the truffle, <laughs> the truffle parmesan fries. And what'd you think of that? It was good. I like the lettuce wrap. I'm a big fan of the lettuce wrap burger. And I like the truffle parm fries. Um, I quite enjoyed them. They were really generous with the uh, parmesan. So It had a lot of parmesan. You could tell they weren't hand-cut fries. Yeah. I like hand-cut fries. I mean, they were good. They, they weren't great. Now, to the burger itself, um, I was actually quite surprised. It was actually a pretty decent burger. The, the meat itself was nice. Uh, the bun, the potato bun, was quite good. You're going to have to watch behind you. Um, the potato bun was actually quite good. Um, the ingredients, again, you saw me take off the tomato. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes on burgers. And the actual red relish was really quite nice. So, you know, if I'm going to rate that burger against other burgers, I, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Oh, that's so, decent. You know, if you know, if you know my rating, anything over 8, you should come and try anything over nine you're an idiot if you don't um i don't know if i have anything else to say other than i don't know if you've noticed but okay don't zoom in on it <laughs> no one wants to see my junk but i dropped some relish on my shorts and so i cleaned it up and i have a wet spot i didn't wet myself so sure <laughs> um i would i would what would i add to this um you didn't ask me to add anything but i'm going to add things um the waitress was really nice it's a great environment. It wasn't busy. It was easy to get a table. The decor is really nice. Yeah. Service was kind of slow. 
I mean, for how busy it was, maybe it was a little tad slow. But everyone was polite. Yeah. The, 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 the decor is nice. It's yeah. quite nice decorated in there. The one thing I would say is this area downtown, there's a lot of construction. Parking sucks. They do have a small parking lot in the back, which is kind of nice. Yeah. So if you are coming downtown, think about that. Otherwise, you could be walking a few blocks. But um, yeah, my first time to Moxie's in quite a while, mm. other than when it was a family restaurant. Now, um, it's out of my league because it's premium casual. Mm. But uh, yeah, so 8.5 for their cheeseburger with bacon. I think that's all I have to say about that. Anything else you have to say? Anything you want to add? Come on, I'm, di I'm dying here. I'm you're, dying okay, here. you're not dying. I'm you're just fine. You're I'm not jumping sinking. Jumping off points. <laughs> you need a little life raft. Um, no, I, I don't think I have anything else to add. All right. Well, in that case, uh, we'll just let you know of some shows we have coming up. Mm. We're thinking of doing a poke bowl challenge, which would be hosted by you because I don't like fish. Yep. Uh, we also are going to be doing an SND Island edition coming up. On the road again. Two places we want to stop. One is the Scarlet Abyss, which is on the very tip of Vancouver Island. Um, also, there's a place in Qualcomm called Q Burger, which apparently is rated one of the best five burger places in Canada. You don't get to say that without my input, so we're going to check that place out. <laughs> Otherwise, we will most likely see you next week. Not sure where we're going. Next time on SND, see you soon. When I don't have a great show, I'm the first to admit it. I know this didn't have the pizzazz of others, so I like to just sit down sometimes and throw my thoughts out to the universe and hope for answers. Answers like, I know a shark is faster than me in the water, but I know I can run faster than a shark on land. So really, in a triathlon, it would come down to who is the better cyclist.